Aloha everybody to the Mid-Pacific Institute graduating class. I'm Mayor Kawakami. I'm on Kauai, but I just wanted to take some time out of my day to talk to each and every one of you. Look, I know you weren't expecting this. I don't think the world was expecting this, but here we are and we're all together. And I want to tell you folks that you've worked so hard to get here and it saddens all of us that the traditions that we used to hold near and dear to our hearts are put on pause for this occasion. But I want to tell you what hasn't stopped. What hasn't stopped is your hard work, your dedication, lo your loyalty, the love for your family, the love for this state, the love for your school, and the love for each other. And I know things are tough, but I know that you're even tougher. And we're going to get through this. I want to tell you the reason why I'm talking to all of you is that without Mid-Pacific Institute, our family, myself, we wouldn't be here today where I'm at. And we owe a lot to that fine institution that all of you folks have worked hard to graduate from. My grandfather, H.S. Kawakami, came over from Japan at the age of 12 by himself amongst a ship full of strangers to get to his older brother. Once he landed on Kauai, he worked in those sugarcane fields until finally his brother could send him to Oahu to get an education. He started a business, he raised a family, and he put good values in our hands to make sure that we're successful. God bless him and God bless everybody that's come before us. You have a legacy to uphold that you should be proud of. And I'm proud of you. And I'm with you. I'm with each and every one of you and even though I'm on Kauai, I'm in your heart, you're in my heart, you're on my mind, and you're a part of me. And I feel honored to be able to say that. I want to say that my mom and dad who passed away a few years ago, God bless their hearts, but I'm so glad that they took the time to raise me and give me a few simple lessons to guide me when they're not around. And I want to pass those values on to you. You know, my mom was a school teacher. She was a country girl that lived in the valley. They grew up dirt poor, but they found a way to send all of their kids to get a higher education. And that's what I'm hoping for you folks, to go out there, to find your, find your clan and find your tribe, be comfortable in your own skin, and build upon those values and that foundation that you receive. So my mom taught me five simple things. And I tell you, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, the sharpest tool in the shed. I myself went to Mid-Pacific after Hurricane Iniki. It was an event that turned my world upside down, so I know what you're feeling. And it's not fair, but it is what it is. And my mom gave me these five lessons that she said would help me to be successful in life, no matter who I'm with or where I'm at. She said lesson number one is to always say thank you, that a simple thank you is golden. So I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the faculty and staff at Mid-Pacific Institute for investing in our children. And I want to thank you for your hard work because you're the next generation of leadership that's going to make this world a better place. The second thing she said is to never judge. To never judge a book by its cover that only God can judge. And this is at times hard to do, but we don't know what burden an individual is shouldering. So always find time to remind yourself to just not be judgmental. Number three, always forgive. That's a tough one too. You are going to be wronged in life. People are going to do you wrong. They're going to shortchange you. Look, let it go. The most liberating feeling in the world is to be able to forgive somebody. And if you can't forgive, it's poisonous. It's like drinking poison and expecting your enemy to be sick. The only thing that it impacts is you. So find it in your heart to find that forgiveness. It may take some time, but always strive towards that. Believe me. Number four is to always leave a place or a person better than what you found it in. It's amazing in this time where we're all going through challenges. What a simple hello. And you know, the heartbreaking thing is there's so many people that just need a hug. All they needed to get through that day 
is just a hug from a stranger, but we can't. But that shouldn't stop us from leaving some place and somebody better than what we found it in. Lift their spirits up. A simple hello, a simple is everything okay, is going to go through this community and resonate. And it will define who we are as people and as a community. And last but not least, she said, there's one time in life where it's okay to look down on somebody. That sounds weird, but she said, yes, son, there's one time in your life where it's okay to look down on somebody. And that's after they've fallen and you're standing over them, picking them off the ground and dusting them off. Kids, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to fall down. I'm depending on each and every one of you to be that strength, to be that beacon of hope. Your fellow classmates that are having a rough time, take the time to help them get off the ground, dust them off, and we'll move forward together. Anyway, I want to thank all of you folks. I want to congratulate you. You worked hard. This is some weird times. We're going to get through this, but I want to say we're with you. We're proud of you. God bless and aloha.